Okay, here's a quick video on uh, how to upgrade your controller for this uh, low boy made by City Coco, Motec, or Toxers, whatever one you get it from. They're all City Coco, but Moto makes them, and Toxers is just a rebrander. Now, here's the controller you get with it. It's supposed to be a 2,500 watt motor, but they include this uh, this controller, which is actually as you can see only 35 amps okay and uh, it should have about a 55 amp controller so it kind of limits its speed so um, I'm going to show you how to do a quick modification now I like I said this is all experimental uh, you do it on your own fruition uh, I'm not responsible for anything that happens to your controller and uh, or your motor or your bike or your batteries this is what I do and what I'm going to do is show you how to uh, improve the performance of this controller which is you know a little sufficient now um, here's the only paperwork I could find on it right here on the controller and uh, hopefully you can get a good shot of that do a screenshot um, there, you, you might be able to find it online somewhere else, a, a direct printout. And I found the pins here, right here. Now, see how the, the pins are lined up? For uh, It's lined up like it matches the pinouts here. You know, the 8, then the uh, 12, and then the 6, or whatever they are, or the 16. So it's 8, 16, and 6. And then the two on the left and the two on the right. So we got the two on the left here. For the two on the left here. These four here. Uh, eight there for these eight here. These 16 here. For these 16 here. These six here. For these six here. And these three. For these three over here. These three are your motor outputs here, the main power. And here's for your hall sensor and power for it. This is all the other garbly goop right here, which normally, if you buy this controller separately, it would come with pigtails. Okay, but here's the list on what I could figure out what they have. I'll turn it sideways. It's going to be a little odd, but as you can see, there's what I have figured out what it is. Or at least, uh, 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 let's see, I zoomed in on another controller. Now, whether these match up to this one, I don't know if it's the same model. Um, you can verify the wiring yourself on yours and trace them back. But this is what I got right here. So for this this right here, this is the controller that comes with it. Now I do have an 80 amp myself I'm going to put in later. But right now, you know, registered as a moped, technically you can't go faster than 30. And mine does 30, 33 maybe with a good tailwind down, downhill, maybe 37 down a hill but it says legally on flat level ground okay so to begin with to take these apart to get to the insides they got security screws okay there are these uh, Y's and you gotta get a security bit set because those screws are in there tight on the back they're extremely tight on the back and for good reason it's so that it pinches the uh, SCRs in there to keep them cool. And uh, there they are. That's for your um, A, B, and C phase of your motors. Okay, and then it just pulls right out. It's no big deal. It just pops right out like that. Just try not to damage it here. Let's see. Okay, yeah, that's the way we're showing it right there. Like that. There's no settings or adjustments on it whatsoever. But if you look over here on the power side, see right there? Right there between the two bars. Let's see. See those two single. Yeah, there we go. Those two bars. I don't know if you can see that, but maybe I can point it out to you. These two right here between my fingernails. Those two. Those are shunts. Shunts are usually in amp meters, and the main power goes right in here, the negative, then through the shunts, 
and continues from the shunts to the other side of the board here, right there, okay? From he these two to here. Now, it looks like originally the board supports three shunts, but there's only two shunts there. Maybe they reduced it to uh, protect it or something, but who knows. So what you do is you just get a thick piece of wire. And you would go underneath the board here. And these two places right here, these are where the shunts are. And they go over to here. Now if you just take a big fat wire and solder it between here it will give you more power. Now what a shunt does is it creates a voltage drop between the two points and the voltage drop is relevant to how many amps it's pulling so the electronics can read how many amps are going through this thing so if it sees it's going too many amps it'll cut down the power well this is a way of fooling it and it's actually just hiding the amps that it's going to it. Okay, and that's, that, that's how it increases your performance. Now, it'll make you take off. Now, it may take off too powerful on you or go too fast for you. I'm guessing it should go at least, you know, maybe 63 kilometers an hour, which is equivalent to maybe 41, 42 miles an hour from, you know, 28 to 32 or 33 that it does originally. And then you put it all back together, put it back on there. Now, this white cream here, that's also on here, make sure you respread it out evenly. That's to, uh, for heat transfer. Don't wipe that off. That's very important, that cream. So then you put it back together and make sure you tighten the bejesus out of the screws. You can replace them with regular screws if you want, if you have them. Um, but to get them, get these out, you need a security screw because nothing's going to work on them except for the actual bit for it. So that's a tutorial on uh, how to upgrade your controller. And uh, good luck. Have some fun. Next video I'll have is of the throttle, handle throttle controller. And I'm guessing mine is not putting out the full voltage. So I'm going to test mine opposed to another one in the, in a video and show you how to replace that. Uh, th that's probably going to be very simple to do. But that's my tutorial on uh, upgrading your controller to give you more power and more speed. Now, as for the uh, battery pack, you know, um, before you remove this, again, remember, disconnect your battery first. Or else you're going to have some fire, you could blow up your batteries, you could mess up your... BMS, which is a battery management system. Now, I realize this thing comes with a uh, two amp charger. That takes forever. So, I made a charger that can go up to, you know, 10 or, or even as much as 20 amps. Well, I said, well, let me just give it five. Well, apparently, the highest it'll go is about three and a half amps charge. This is because the battery management system is limiting the charge to three and a half amps. Now the same thing for when you uh, fool the controller and hide the amps by putting that jumper in there. Now you know you can overload the the uh, SCRs in there and burn them out. You can, but usually if you're careful a little bit and not just slam it all the time. And not let it get too hot, because you go full speed a lot, it's going to get hot. That's what the cooling fins are for. That's what for that, that silicon for. So, now you're just relying on the battery's BMS. Now, battery BMS, battery management system, it makes sure that each cell is balanced correctly. And also, at the same time, uh, it'll regulate on, because you can get them in different amp ratings. You know, some that put out 20 amps, 30 amps, 40, 80 hundred amps okay now I don't know what the output maximum is for the BMS for this thing I'm sure it can't be much more than maybe 40 amps I guess that that's probably about what it, it probably is 40 or 45 amps 
So you're going to be going from 35 to 40 to 45 amps because now, instead of this limiting your power, now your BMS is now going to be limiting the maximum amount of amps that are coming out the battery pack. So there you go. That's all the information you should use to, you can use or, or do your own research. Always do your own research. But this is what I got. Good luck and have fun and I'll see you on my next video.